on behalf of residents, myself, SRN sir, and today we are going to see the questions given in the 24th June 2022 JE main morning session. And these questions were made based on the memory of students. And let us see what are the questions given. The first question, the most stable trihalide from NF3, NBR3, NCL3 and Ni3 is, these are the factual questions from the NCRT, NCRT mein directly diya hua hai, is mein ye nitrogen trihalides mein stable one is nitrogen trifluoride, baki sab explosive hai, that means they are unstable, okay. So the answer is 1. Now the next question, this is related to solid state, atom X arranged in HCP unit cell while Y atoms occupied two third of tetrahedral voids, then percentage of X in the unit cell and report your answer to nearest integer, this is the integer type question. In this, X atoms are forming HCP unit cell, that means per unit cell the number of X atoms are 6. And the number of voids formed by these X atoms, that is tetrahedral voids formed by these X atoms can be 12. So the Y atoms are occupying two third of these tetrahedral voids and that means the Y atoms are 8 in number. Now the formula of the compound can be X6, Y8 and if you simplify this can be X3, Y4. Now the percentage of X in the unit cell is 3 by 7 into 10, it is 42.857. If you round off this, it will be 43. And the next question given from atomic structure related to quantum numbers, which set of quantum numbers represent degenerate orbitals? Students, yahan dekhiye aap n equal to 3, l equal to 2, m equal to 0 is given and in this set, n equal to 3, l equal to 2, m equal to minus 1. Degenerate orbitals means jiski n value, l value barabar hai or m value different hai, usko hum degenerate orbitals kahenge. So, is me degenerate orbitals ye donom set banayega. Ye donom degenerate orbitals hai. Ab baki sab me n and l values are different and m values are also different and some may be they be same. But the main condition n and l value should be same and m values are different. The next question given to the given from electrochemistry, it is the cell notation given hydrogen Take hydrogen electrode is taken as anode and copper electrode is taken as cathode and pH of anodic half cell we have to find and the standard electrode potential for copper electrode is given and 2.303 RT by F value is also given. Now the anodic reaction is hydrogen is oxidizing to give H plus and electron and at cathode copper is reducing to give copper and the overall reaction is this one. Now E0 cell is E0 of copper electrode that is right hand side electrode minus left hand side electrode then for hydrogen electrode it is 0 so it can be equal to 0 0.34 because for copper electrode SRP is given that is 0 0.34 for hydrogen electrode it is 0 so it can be for cell 0 0.34. Now we are substituting in the Nernst equation that is E cell equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by F value already given 0 0.06 by N that means number of electrons transferred and log H plus concentration square upon Cu2 plus concentration. Here pressure of hydrogen is taken as 1 atm and copper is the solid its active mass is taken as 1 unit. Now the E cell is also provided 0 0.576 volts. Now on substituting the values, you will get 0 0.03 into and 
I am taking minus inside the bracket. Now, it, it will be minus log H plus concentration square plus log copper plus 2 concentration. Now, if you take minus log H plus concentration, it is pH. So, it is it can be written as 2 into pH. Now, we have to find this pH value on solving you will get pH equal to 5. Okay. This is from electrochemistry beautiful question. Next, another question from mole concept. C 15 H 30 is used as rocket fuel, then find the mass of oxygen used for per, per liter consumption of C 15 H 30. Also find carbon dioxide produced and given density of this C 15 H 30 as 0 0.756 gram per milliliter. Now, from this data we are finding mass of C 15 H 30 that is you know density equal to mass of one volume, density is given and volume is given. So, you will get 756 grams for this C 15 H 30 mass and from this equation we are calculating the moles for this C 15 H 30 by dividing mass and molar mass, mass with molar mass you are getting the moles and we are calculating the mass moles of oxygen and also the moles of carbon dioxide. From the moles of oxygen and carbon dioxide, we are calculating weight of oxygen that is multiplying with molar mass and weight of carbon dioxide by multiplying this number of moles with molar mass that is if you multiply this 15 into 756 upon 210 into 44, you will get this weight of carbon dioxide that is 2376 grams. Now, this is another question from solution Colgate properties. What is the concentration of glucose solution in intravenous injection in gram per liter which is isotonic with blood solution which has osmotic pressure 7.93 bar at 300 Kelvin? Report your answer to nearest integer. Here isotonic solutions means the solutions whose osmotic pressure is same. So, usko kahenge apan isotonic solutions. So, isliye isme osmotic pressures ko equate karenge that is osmotic pressure of the glucose solution which is taken in the injection and that will be equated to osmotic pressure of blood. Osmotic pressure of blood is given 7.93 bar and we are calculating the concentration by using this relation pi equal to CRT. Now, by substituting the data you will get concentration as 58 gram per liter. Another one, which ion is not present in teeth enamel? It belongs to the S block elements and you know in the teeth the main part is hydroxapatite crystal. This is the main inorganic portion of the teeth and in this the calcium ion is present, fluoride ions are also present and in the calcium phosphate, phosphorus is in plus 5 state but not in plus 3 state. So, the answer is P plus 3 ion is not present in the teeth enamel. Now, how many of the following oxides are amphoteric in nature? Look at this sodium oxide, you know metal oxides are basic in nature, non metal oxides are acidic in nature and metalloid oxides are amphoteric. Here sodium oxide, metal oxide, so it is basic and arsenic oxide, it is amphoteric and nitric oxide and nitrous oxide, these are the neutral oxides and Cl2O7, this is acidic oxide. So, the number of amphoteric oxides are only one that is arsenic oxide. Next one. A cation Y2 plus on reaction with reagent X from form red color complex 
then the cation y2 plus and reagent x are respectively. This question you can consider it belongs to the qualitative analysis or you may consider it as for coordination because in nickel 2 plus when combines with dimethyl glyoxamate it will give nickel dimethyl glyoxamate complex this is a red colored complex and in this you can consider in the point of coordination compounds it is square planar complex and with DSP2 hybridization and it also contains intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Next one which is used for commercial production of dihydrogen it belongs to the hydrogen and its compounds and commercially hydrogen can be prepared by passing steam over the red hot coke then we will get carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. So, this is the commercial preparation of hydrogen gas this is also called as water gas or syn gas. Now the matching regular question PCL5 in PCL5 it is AB5 type and its steric number is 5 so sp3 dehybridization and brf5 this is ab5 l type that means there is a lone pair and five bond pairs steric number is 6 steric number is 6 now if steric number is 6 it is sp3 d2 hybridization and ptcn4 2 minus in this platinum is in plus 2 state and in plus 2 state it has 5d8 configuration and it is the 4d 4d and 5d series elements with strong field ligand or weak field ligand forms square planar complexes that's why it is it's in this complex the hybridization is dsp2 and the remaining hexamine cobalt in this cobalt is in plus 3 state and NH3 is the strong field ligand. So, in presence of strong field ligand and it is forming the hybridization that is sp3 d2 hybridization for this. Next one. D2 sp3 hybridization. Next one CO2 CO8 CO2 CO8 in this number of CO CO bonds and terminal cobalt carbonyl bonds are given as X and Y and asking about the X plus Y. Here in this complex you can observe these CO CO bonds are 1 and terminal cobalt and carbonyl bonds are 3 plus 3 6 so the total number is 7 and these are bridge carbonyl bonds so they asked about the terminal so total number of terminal cobalt and carbonyl bonds are 6 and total is 7 and again this one is from metallurgy and frequently asking question from the words and formulae. This is calamine, spellerite, galena, sidirite. These were given and we have to match this. You can observe calamine is zinc carbonate and spellerite is zinc sulfide, galena is lead sulfide and sidirite is iron carbonate. Next, this question belongs to 13th group that is about the diborane and the statements are given and we have to find the correct statements. B2H6 is Lewis acid and B2H6 has planar structure. All BH bond lengths are equal in B2H6. In B2H6, 4, 3 centered, 2 electron bonds are present and B2H6 can be prepared by reaction of BF3 and sodium borohydride. 
look at this this is the v2 h6 structure in this boron atoms are sp3 hybridized and these two bonds these two bonds are said to be the three centered two electron bonds or banana bonds and these hydrogens are the terminal hydrogens and these two bonds are above and below the plane perpendicular to the plane these four hydrogens with boron are in the plane now this is non planar it is not a planar structure it is non planar structure and it has four two centered two electron bonds and two three centered two electron bonds but here it is given there are four three centered two electron bonds which is wrong and here all bond lengths are equal it is given all bond lengths are equal but it is not correct here this x and y this is the bond length terminal hydrogen and boron bond length and this is the bridge hydrogen and boron bond length this x and y are different y is greater than that of x and b2 h6 is lewis acid yes due to the electron deficient bonding it is the lewis acid and b2 h6 has planar structure no it is non planar because there are two three centered two electron bonds perpendicular to the plane and all vh bond lengths are equal no and in b2 h6 four three centered two electron bonds are present no and b2 h6 can be prepared by reaction of bf3 and sodium borohydride yes it can be prepared by sodium borohydride and boron trifluoride in presence of ether then we will get b2 h6 so the correct statements are only first and last statements next one this is from surface chemistry in emulsion oil in water get separated in two different layers yes in emulsion oil and water can be separated as two layers and statement 2 it can be stabilized by adding excess of electrolyte no it is stabilized by adding emulsifying agent okay it is direct lines given from the ncert textbook emulsions of oil in water are unstable these are the lines taken from directly from ncert textbook emulsions of oil in water are unstable and sometimes they separated into two layers on standing and for stabilization of emulsion the third component called emulsifying agent is usually added that is soap is added to stabilize this next one the difference between oxidation state of chromium in chromate and dichromate is look here this is the chromate ion this is the dichromate ion in this for unknown element we'll take it as oxidation state as x and 4 into minus 2 equal to minus 2 x equal to plus 6 for this chromium and similarly we will calculate for this chromium let us take it as y 2y into 2y plus 7 into minus 2 equal to minus 2 and y value you will get plus 6 here it is also plus 6 it is also plus 6 and the difference in the oxidation states is zero so the answer is zero this is also integer type questions okay that's it for this morning session and again we will meet you in the evening session questions thank you